Hey guys, welcome to another video for anatomy and physiology. I'm continuing my videos on the skeletal system. And right now this video, we're going to be focusing on the lower leg or your leg really from the knee down to your ankle. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. So this video is highlighting the, um, the lower leg bones or the leg, your tibia and your fibula. So your tibia, as you can see here, I'm highlighting this. Let me zoom in just a bit. Your tibia is the bigger of the two. Okay, I don't have the fibula shown here. In fact, here, let me show you an image of both next to each other. So there's your tibia and then here is your fibula. So your tibia is your weight-bearing bone. That's the bone that uh, gets the weight that's transferred from the femur, which we had a video of before, and that weight gets transferred over to your tibia. It's a much bigger bone than the fibula. Your fibula is not weight-bearing at all. It's really small. Um, your fibula is the lateral bone, so always remember that. So when you're looking at the fibula side, that's the lateral side. Just think fibula, um, it, that has the L, so that's the lateral. Also, um, the fibula is the smaller one. Uh, if you tell a little fib, a little white lie, um, a fib is a small lie, a tibula. Um, so yeah, so it's, that's how you can differentiate the two. Other than that, let's take a look at the tibia and let's look at some of these features that are on the tibia. Um, here, let me get a better view here or a better, yeah, let's center it. Okay, so we're looking at the tibia and we're looking at the anterior portion of the tibia and this prominence right here, this is called the tibial tuberosity. This is the connection point of your quadriceps muscle, your, uh, your patellar tendon. So your quadriceps muscles all come together and they meet at the patellar tendon and they connect here at the tibial tuberosity. So let me get a better view of that there. All right, so that is your tibial tuberosity. That's the anterior part of the knee, all right? And just above that, okay, I do want to highlight some of these smaller features, the anterior intercondylar area. This anterior intercondylar area, uh, the reason why I'm highlighting it is because this is the attachment point for your anterior cruciate ligament, your ACL. And then if I can turn this around here, here you have the, on the posterior side, take a wild guess what connection point that's going to be. Let me zoom out and turn it around. That's going to be the locate, the attachment point for your PCL, your posterior cruciate ligament. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, let's zoom out. And we're looking at the posterior side. I want to look at this, this knee, or this part of the leg from the anterior. All right. So this is the anterior. This is the lateral condyle. Okay. The lateral condyle has an attachment to your iliotibial band, your IT band. Uh, I do have videos on these um, on these on these uh, features that I'm talking about these um, these ligaments so and these tendons. So uh, go ahead and watch those videos. And then in the middle here, on the medial side of this, I have the medial condyle. Okay, so the medial condyle is a connection point for your MCL. Uh, let's see, what else do we have on the tibia? There's not a lot going on in this bone. Uh, and then, of course, you have the shaft, okay? Main part of the bone. And then you have this line here in the middle, the anterior borderline. Now, one of the interesting things about your uh, tibia is that uh, it's subcutaneous. Uh, all bones are subcutaneous, meaning they are under the skin, but the tibia, if you've ever... Uh, if you're like me, when you're a kid, um, and I, have, I think about this maybe once a month, it's so weird. Um, anytime I drive by a playground or whatever, uh, and I see the, I'm not even sure what they're called, but I guess monkey bars maybe. They're kind of in a domed shape. Uh, and when I was a kid, I used to walk on those. And I remember there were times when I would slip and fall, and I would rake my, my shin, uh, the shaft of my tibia, on those bars, and I would just, it would just hurt so bad. <laughs> Um, and the reason being is because there isn't a lot of cushion between your skin and that bone. All you have between your skin and that bone is, is some connective tissue, maybe a tiny bit of fat, um, but it's very small. And then you also have your, uh, your pain receptors or your uh, pressure receptors, your piscinian corpuscles there. So when you apply pressure to that shin bone, I mean that you're applying pressure directly onto those 
Piscinian corpuscles and uh, and you experience that that pain that is so famous with uh, hurting your shins. Also, if you're a soccer player, you know that's why you wear your shin guards so you protect those. All right, so just a couple more things here. Um, this little feature here. Uh, this is also something that you should be very very familiar with if you are familiar with your feet at all. This is the medial malleolus. That's that lump on the inside of your ankle. All right, the medial malleolus. Yes. Okay, well, uh, let's go ahead and take some time to look at the fibula. Let's finish, let's finish strong here. Now, well, maybe not because there's not a lot on the fibula to really talk about. Uh, it does not weight, uh, bear any uh, weight like I mentioned before, but uh, there's just a few things I do want to talk about, or the three features that I want you to know in the fibula is the head of the fibula, okay, the shaft, and then your lateral bump on the ankle oops let me that lateral bump on the ankle is called the lateral malleolus all right so yeah that's that famous that famous lateral bump that you have on your ankle that uh, keeps your socks up all right well i think that does it for your tibia and fibula uh thanks for watching i hope this helped and good luck in your studying